Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you some new updates regarding a new Model Y motor. So we will look into that because this might change a bit something for European customers in the future. So Moneyball reported here on tw uh, Twitter that we have the Model Y received uh, approval um, for a single motor. So what is the change happening here, guys? So what's actually happening is very interesting. We do have, based on the reservation numbers in China, uh, which we saw recently on this channel, we do know that the Model Y standard range currently only sold in China has a huge amount of reservations. And currently the long range has an acceleration speed from zero to 100 of five seconds. The standard range on the other hand has an acceleration speed of 5.6 um, seconds. So you see there is not such a big difference, but the biggest difference is the price. So you have around $10,000 difference between the standard and the long range. So a lot of people seem to say, well, I don't care about the 0.6 acceleration speed. I'm just going to choose um, the standard range, which is way cheaper. And that is Tesla is going to change that with the new motor because no, it is not faster and better. It is a bit slower. Um, the technology itself might be better, but the speed is not the same. So now we can see that it has uh, currently around 6.9 seconds from zero to 100. And so it's a much bigger difference to the Model Y long range. And so the strategy here could be to move people from the standard range towards the long range, um, convince them that they would have to pay the 10K to upgrade. Um, I'm not saying that people will move from the current reservation holders towards a long range, but I think Tesla realized that a lot of people are buying the standard range because they do like it much more for the value of the price, what they get. And this is the same issue or the same situation we have with the Model 3 in Europe too. So for anybody looking into waiting till a standard range comes to the United States or to Europe, now you know that Tesla is trying to do anything to keep you buying the long range because of course in China they make not so much money with the standard range as with the long range. Talking about China though, as we have seen the uh, delivery uh, numbers recently, we have here from Exxon the update regarding the increase of production happening and it has been around 5 to 6k per month more. And yesterday we saw the numbers and if you take the difference between the numbers um, delivered and the production, we do see kind of a difference that could be covered with the cars still being on the parking spot or being on the way to customers. And so if we combine all the numbers together that we have here right now, we would be close to 500,000 cars being produced in China. And that would be the goal already achieved in 2021 that Tesla had to achieve half a million cars being produced in China. If you take the numbers they are recently doing per month in China, you of course can see that it will be way better over the entire year of 2022. So we are not looking into 500,000 next year. We might look into seven, 800,000 just from China, maybe even more, who knows? Because the numbers we have currently in November and December, which we might see in December, are more than twice as much as we have seen in January or February this year. Then looking into uh, Mr. Merritt, he is reporting here that somebody shared that the delivery times actually decreased from June 2022 to March uh, yesterday. And if I consider the picture here, I say, well, that's a Model Y. And this can have two main reasons. And one reason is a good one and the other one is a very bullish, bullish reason. So the first one is we have talked about cancellations when it comes to people delaying their orders like constantly, not one time, two times, but like five times. 
And we also have seen a few people being do, doing that for a long time now. So there could have been some um, major cancellations within the wait list. So some people are moved forward. But from June to March, that's a major difference here. And I don't think that all of the customers here are delaying their um, reservations because these are reservations for next year. We are not talking about people being in January, moving into December and not getting the tax credit here. But there's another reason that could, that could happen. It could be that Tesla is actually already planning the production here in Austin, already taking into consideration that cars will be produced the Model Y will be the first car in Austin. And so that might be the difference. I mean, March, April, May, June, that is that is almost three months shorter. And this cannot happen for any reason. There must be a reason and I do believe it is Austin. I believe that they are as far as they could be right now and that they will start production. And even if they start in January and not in December, who cares? but they would have three months of being able to produce cars even in a low number um, case here. You would reduce the wait time by three months. That is possible and I believe it is the reason why Tesla is changing the delivery times. Please let me know if you think that is the same case. I think Austin is ready to go. Uh, the batteries are there and we do also see here from Joe Tickmeyer. So thank you for him because he's doing amazing work here. Um, we do have a small dashboard. So yes, that doesn't consider that Tesla is already producing cars, but it looks like we haven't seen them in Germany yet. So they look to be a bit more advanced here being in a test production as he just um, uh, wrote in the Twitter one uh, account here that he actually mentioned that this could be here for another trial production. And if they do these entire trial production things in 2021 and they are ready to go in January, that would be enough to support the thesis that I just put out here that actually the delivery times are shortened because of Austin. So guys, keep it up. I'm very, very happy to have you all here. We are very, very close for production start in Austin. That is my personal opinion here. And so I want to thank you for all your support this year as we are ending this year, which is, by the way, my first year on YouTube since February. It has been a roller coaster, coaster and I'm very happy to have you all here. I'm briefing you from Germany almost every single day. So keep it up. Stay with me and we will have a great 2022. So thank you very much for being here today and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you.